Hey, hey, welcome back everyone. You know what today is. It's Tuesday and it is time for a senior haul, senior haul, senior citizen haul from Goodwill. I had a very busy day today. I had a um, doctor's appointment this morning before work. Then after work, I had to go to the dentist. So, in between, I went to Goodwill, and I found some pretty cool things, and uh, I'm pretty happy uh, with what I got. Um, I spent, oh, and yes, we are in the living room again. We are doing another couch haul. <laughs> I'm being lazy again today, guys, so it's been a long day. So... Uh, but I have my new uh, slip covers on my couches. I showed them to you guys in my last video. I am so glad that I bought these because I, I didn't know if I was going to like them or not, and I love them. So I, uh, you should have seen me trying to figure out how to get the things on. Oh, my God. That would have been a video in itself. <laughs> but they're on, and um, I'm very pleased. I really like them. So, and actually, the more I look at the pillows on there, the more I think the pillows are going to be just fine. So, anywho, let's get on with this haul. I spent $32, and I stand to make that with one item. Uh, so, the haul potentially is free. Free is good. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I will show you what item that is last. So for now, let's start. I had to get this item, even though she's broken. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe I can repair her with some polymer clay. I am going to try. But... She is uh, Lefton, and she's beautiful. Look at this little angel. You can see here she's missing the tip of her wing, but I don't care. I love her, and she's actually a bank. Uh, today's tag was yellow, and then, of course, she was $349, less 25%. But she, look at her face. She's gorgeous. So, broken wing and all, I don't care. She's mine. And I just love her. She's dirty, too. <laughs> we had to get her cleaned up. There's the close-up again. Okay. Uh, next, this is so cool. I think that this is just gorgeous. And I paid, let me see, where's my receipt? Let me just tell you what I paid with 25% off. All right, I paid, where is it? Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. $4.12 I paid for this. And I think that it is worth it. I think it's beautiful. Um, on the bottom, it says, let me get the sticker off. It says, Jumbo Holland, made in Holland, hand painted. I don't exactly know what Jumbo Holland is, but it's, I'll show it to you. It's Jumbo Dash Holland. Look at this vase. Is this not very, very pretty? Hey, don't start, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Gold handle. 
And here's the bottom. Let me turn it so it's the right way. I, I just thought it was beautiful. I have no idea what something like this is worth, but it's free of chips and cracks. And like the pattern, let me show you close up. Look at that. It's like a drip looking pattern. Very, very cool. It actually, what it reminds me of, it reminds me of uh, turquoise, only pink. Pink turquoise, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? It's beautiful, it's even like that on the inside. So for $4.12, I know this will go for at least $20. So it's beautiful. I mean, you never know, I might keep it. <laughs> Let's put that down over there. All right. Then I got a set of three of these um, glasses. Sorry, I didn't unwrap anything, guys. Actually, I'm a little perturbed. They had a very tall cardboard box full of newspapers. They did not wrap any of my items that I bought except for these three stinking glasses. I'm like, are you like, I'm sorry. When someone comes up to your counter with glassware, you shouldn't even have to ask the person if they want it wrapped. That's a given. They didn't even ask me if I wanted anything wrapped. They wrapped nothing except these glasses. And I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to bother asking them to wrap the stuff. I'll just be real careful when I bring it home. But I was a little bit aggravated. Actually, I was a lot aggravated. I'm not going to lie. I thought, wow. Like, are you lazy? Is that what it is? Or do you just not think? And you know what? I don't care if people get mad that I'm talking about the employees at the Goodwill because... They can be very lazy. And I'm sorry, but I'm paying for these items and I would like them to get home in one piece. It's a common courtesy to wrap up people's things that are glass anywhere, not just at the Goodwill. Okay, rant is done. Any of you run into that problem at Goodwill? Let me know in the comments. Because I would like to know. Or are they just lazy at my goodwill? Anyway, I got three of these glasses with the pheasants. I'm not quite sure uh, who the maker is. I have to look it up in my... Um, uh, yeah, here we go again. My Tumblr uh, book. Um, I tell everybody about this dang book, and now I can't think of the name of it, um, but it'll come to me. Uh, so anyways, um, there are three of them, and I'm not going to unwrap the other two. So, that was in that bag. Let me slide this down here. And then, oh, this was my favorite find. Hold on, guys. I gotta, I gotta get it out. They put this whole thing in a bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep going back to the bags and the wrapping. I just don't want to break it. I have never seen anything like this. The book is called The Decorated Tumbler. And I learned about this book um, from when I first started watching JoJo at Lakeside Treasures with JoJo. And she recommended this book. And I immediately went online after I watched her video and purchased it. I don't remember if I got it on Amazon or eBay. But it is called The Decorated Tumbler. 
and it has been so helpful when I'm trying to find um, the names of all the different patterns and the makers as well. Um, in the book, it has Libby, it has Bartlett Collins, Anchor Hawking, Macbeth Evans. Um, you know, there's a whole array of uh, companies in this book. So for those of you that are resellers and you want a book on the different um, cups and glasses and pitchers, check it out because it's awesome. And thank you, Jojo, for uh, telling us about that book. Okay, so now I went way off topic, but anyways, look at this piece, you guys. Get off of there. Oh my God, look at this piece. Look at Woodstock down there in the corner. I paid, it was regular $7.39. So I paid $5.54 for it. Let me take the top off and show you Snoopy. <laughs> there he is, chilling out up there. Okay. Oh my gosh, and then she put this inside of here. Are you kidding me? Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm just, okay, I'm just gonna zip it. This is Lennox, you guys. Look at that. And trust me, when I saw it up on the shelf, I'm like, that has got to be a Lennox piece. Sure enough. I put that thing down in my cart and I examined it for about 10 minutes to make sure there were, oh, and you know what? To make sure there were no chips, but I just found one right here. And I swear that that chip was not there when I, I looked this thing over like crazy. Oh my God, I am so mad right now. It's not real bad, but oh my God, I'm so mad. But anyways, um, I have not looked this up yet, but uh, I'm sure it goes for a pretty penny. Um, but it's not really bad. Oh my gosh, I am so darn mad. But this is awesome. And you know what, who knows? If it doesn't sell, I have no problem keeping it for myself, I really don't. I love um, the Lennox Christmas stuff, so and I have quite a few pieces of it, so I would not mind having to keep this at all. So. Let me take this off and set it down because I don't want it to break. Get this sticker off my hand. I'm going to set it over here. I don't know. I hope that didn't get chipped on the way home in the car. <sighs> and then inside of this cookie jar was this little beauty that I found. Um, it was regular $2.49, and I paid with the 25%, $1.87. And let me take the sticker off so you could get a good look. This is just beautiful. I wish, I, I mean, I don't know really what I would do with it, but I'm sure, I mean, yeah, you could put maybe a plant or something in it. Or you could use it as its intended use as a creamer without the sugar bowl to match. Look at this. This is just beautiful. 
no chips, no cracks, and this was made in Germany. And it's just beautiful. It has like that luster wear look to it. Absolutely stunning. Too bad it didn't have the sugar bowl to go with it. That would, that would have been a gorgeous um, set. So, yep. So I picked that up. No idea what it what it could sell for. I mean, I'm sure probably twelve to fifteen dollars. Who knows? So there's that little beauty. Then I got this for myself. I want to hang it outside. I have a one of those uh, uh, not a shepherd's hook, but you know what I'm talking about. They're wrought iron. It's the sticks in the ground, and then the thing comes out like that. And you hang a sign from it. So I saw this. And he is just so cute. I love him. He was only $1.49. And then uh, with the 25% off, it was $1.12. So I love it. He is so cute. I might even hang him. I might just hang him on my front door. Because... He is just adorable. I love him. Look at that face. <laughs> so I got him. Let me put him over here. Then I got this, since we're on the subject of winter and Christmas stuff, I got this vintage uh, tree topper. It's from Woolworths. And it was a dollar twelve, and it works. I plugged it in. I gotta fix the cellophane on this box, but let me show you. I do have a plug. Right over here. I'm sure I won't be able to reach it without going off camera, so you'll have to pardon me a minute, you guys. Oh, if I can get it. <laughs> get in there. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just knocked over my light. Sorry about that. <laughs> but hey, you know, things like that happen when you're recording videos. And it seems like they always happen to me. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, so this is it. It's very pretty. I know it's hard to tell that it's lit, but it is. And um, this light is almost out here. I don't know what the, oh, does it, I don't know. Let me see, show it back here. You could see that it's lit. There we go. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So I grabbed that for, um, I don't know if I'm going to resell it or if I'm going to keep it. I have a few of these vintage tree toppers. And um, the ones that didn't work, I, I disassembled and kept all these pretty plastic parts. So that in case I needed them for any other ones that I might come across, I'll have them. But um, I might I might keep this one. I'm not sure. So let's see if I can unplug this without um, the light falling on my head again. <laughs> All righty. So then... I grabbed this for uh, myself. It's just a nice wallet. It's made by Aldo. I have no idea who Aldo is, but maybe he's Waldo's brother or something. I don't know. I'm not big on designers. I don't know who's who. I could care less. I just got it because, look it, it's got all those pockets for your credit cards and stuff. And this whole side will probably fit my Tim Hortons cards. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, 
And then it has these sections in here. And this is a zipper section. So that's nice. And then there's a section here and a section in the front. And it zips up and I love it. And I only paid, let me see, what was it regular price? It was regular price $2.89, so I paid $2.17, and I really, really like this wallet, so. All right, and then the last, no, nope, almost the last thing. This is awesome, and I only got it as a decor piece. Uh, for, you know, during St. Patrick's Day. This is fabulous. Look at this. Is this not the coolest thing ever? Got a floating head on there, you guys. Look at that. So this guy's name is Frank Connors, and it's Irish Ballads and their records. However, as you can see, I got. I want to be careful because this is old and it, it has been damaged. You can see all of the damage. It looks like water damage. Um, it kind of smells a little bit musty, but the back is just plain. But I got it just for this. This is just awesome. I was looking at the records, but they're they're not looking like they're in too good a shape. And they're thick. I don't know if these would even play. But, yeah, they're not looking like they're in too good a shape. Look at this side. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good. But um, this one is the song Rose of Trolley. And this side is Little Town in Old uh, County Down. This one is Mother Matree, Matree, and this side is You're Irish and You're Beautiful. Darn it, I wish, I'm, I'm going to try and play one and see what happens. This one has Wild Irish Rose, and I'll Take You Home Again, Kathleen. And the last one is When Irish Eyes Are Smiling and A Little Bit of Heaven, Frank Connors and Orchestra. So, and the, the, the company's name was Sonora, and it says clear as a bell. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens with these. Then on the inside here, it has all kinds of like uh, credits and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is very cool. I saw that and I'm like, wow, that's fantastic. So I grabbed that. Put it back in the bag for now. All right. And the last thing that I bought that's, that will pay for this entire... Um, thrift haul is this vintage nativity set from Sears Roebuck. I paid $4. It was regular $5.49, so I paid $4.12. And all the pieces are in here. I opened it up. I took all the pieces and counted them. There's 11. And uh, these go anywhere between $30 and $45 on eBay, sold listings. So I, I made sure I looked it up in the store. I kind of had a feeling because it was from Sears that it would be um, a good return on, on my investment. And I was right. So I grabbed it and put it in the cart. So yeah, it, it's really, it's really pretty. See if I can show you.
all right. So th this, these are all the figures, but this is the stable. And it's made with real straw. It's got the ladder going up there. Let me set this down a second. Let's see if I can get these out. Really? Everything has to be a struggle today. Yeah, this morning, um, on the way to the doctor's, I stopped uh, to get gas. I pulled the nozzle out and I turned like this and there was gasoline left in it and it poured out all over my hand. So I stunk like gas. Then I stopped at Tim Hortons on the way to the doctor's after I got gas. The girl hands me my cup of coffee and I went to bring it in the window and I hit the top part of the window frame popped the lid off and spilled coffee all down my sleeve, all down the inside of my door. I'm like, really? Are you serious? At, at eight o'clock in the morning, okay? Yeah. All right, so let me see. Here's some of the figures. Oh, how pretty, look how pretty. Those are nice. Beautiful. Each one is individual in the bubble wrap. So I'm hoping that they're all, you know, in good condition. Oh, this one's pretty too. These are beautiful. Look at them. I love that antiquing that they did with them. So, yep, that was the buy that will pay for this entire haul. That's Joseph, I believe. Oh, and this is one of the cows. <laughs> yes. Made in Taiwan. All right. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I mean, I will after the video just to make doubly sure that they're okay. So anyways, so that is my haul video, guys. With all of the issues I had, holy, holy cow. And now I have this grass stuff everywhere. Let me set it up here. Um, but I, uh, I do have one box of friend mail that I am just dying to open. Um, it's from my buddy, David. David D-Dog. Hey, buddy. I uh, remembered that you said that it was supposed to uh, come today. So I went to the post office and sure enough, there it was. So I would like to open this with everyone really quick. <laughs> Miss D, from me to you. <laughs> Aw. I don't want to rip it. I need to get one of those letter openers. Look at that. I didn't even rip it. Woohoo! That's cool. At least one thing went right today. Okay. <laughs> oh, how pretty. Vintage card. It says, God bless and keep you. I thank God for a friend like you, for the way you are and dear things you do. And hope that somehow it may be the kind of friend you are to me. Love, David. More treasures I thought you might like. Enjoy your happy mail. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, David. Thank you. Look at that pretty card. Aw. Well, 
Okay. We have a newspaper here from Wichita. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Oh, I got some little mini tree ornaments. <laughs> Ten cents. Oh, these are for Joanne. I still have the little candles. Um, I haven't sent them to her yet because I'm working on um, actually a package for her from me. So I will include your items in my package when I send it, David. Oh, look at these. <laughs> You got it. Oh, wow. How cute is this? Look at that. Oh, that is adorable. It's got a little hanger on the back. OMG. That is so cute. Look at that little face. She looks like a flower. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Hey, don't knock the stuff over there, Mr. Banks. Come on now. This is very cool. Are those, Are these, these are apples. Look how cool that is. They're wood and 3D. You can see they stick out. That is very neat. There's something written on there too, but I'm not sure, quite sure what it says. That's very cool. That's gonna go in my kitchen. Oh, we have some, ooh, beading. New stitch and fill beading crafts. These are from Hobby Lobby. Actually, you know what? It's really funny. I have a couple of um, Christmas ornaments that I put on my tree this year that are made like this. Very cool. I'm going to have to try and make these. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Please pardon my head because I know Binks, he's got to go in and out of there because there's <coughs> stuff there. And he's going to knock it over. Oh, some more vintage Christmas tags. Oh, look at this one. That's very cool. There's a couple of those and there's one like this. And then there's these blue ones. These are stickers. Oh, beautiful. I love stickers like this um, because I like to put them on my packages at Christmas time um, when people um, buy items from my Etsy shop and my eBay shop. On the holidays, I like to put stickers on the packages. So those will come in very, very handy. Love them. Love them. Oh boy, look at we got more we got more goodies. Hang on guys, we got some little ornaments here. Oh, this is a little spun head. <laughs> we got this little Santa. These are for one of those like little mini trees. Got a teddy bear. We have a choo-choo train. And this is, I could, this is one of those, he sent me these before. I'm gonna put a magnet on the back. Those are cool. Let me set them over here for a second. Then we have, we have more vintage um, Christmas tags, which I'm not gonna go through all of these right now because there's too many. But there's also some die, um, die cuts. 
We have this Christmas tree. Oh boy. We have Christmas gifts. We have a wreath. These are pretty. We have some bells. They're one-sided. And then we have a few um, smaller ones that go along with them. This is another um, couple of packages and another holly. Those are cool. Oh my God. I am framing this card. Look at that card. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my God. And there's that beautiful vintage font. I love it. There's two of them. I am not sending these out. Well, I might send, I might one, maybe one. But the other one, I'm definitely putting in a frame. Oh my gosh, those are fantastic. Wow. All right. I'm trying to hurry up because I'm already at 30... 37 minutes, you guys, but I did have technical difficulties. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Uh, <laughs> Remember these? I love it. I got one of these at an estate sale or something. And I brought it over to my mom. I'm going, hey, mom, I got something for you. She said, what? I go, here you go. She goes, oh, my God. I haven't seen one of those in years. I said, I know. I said, you used to wear them all the time. She goes, yeah, I'll keep it. Thank you. <laughs> she was very happy to have it. Oh, my God. Designed for bouffant hairstyles. <laughs> Has the full visor. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. We have a valentine. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at. I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. That is fabulous. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are awesome. I have some of these in my candelabras that um, I put in my kitchen windows. Love those bulbs. Thank you. have some more Christmas cards. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at this. Look how cute. We have this one. I'm trying to find the real vintage looking ones. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I love it. Gorgeous. This one. And this one. Fabulous. Ah, no. No avalanches. Oh, wow. I remember these. Remember these, you guys? Oh, the pull-out garlands. Oh, this is awesome. 
Nine feet long. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, a little angel. Oh, look at how pretty she is. Oh, she is cute. Oh, my gosh. Wow. All right. Trying to hurry, trying to hurry. <laughs> That's hilarious. If I ever wore a pair of shoes like this, I would fall off and break my ankle, okay? Oh my gosh. I don't know how I don't know how women wear shoes like that. I have no idea. This is the coolest piece of plastic foliage that I have ever seen. This reminds me of Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. It had the same little, little tufts of stuff on his tree. I love this. This is obviously like from a pine tree or, you know, a pine cone tree. Binks is over there playing with, I got them a scratching post with a feather thing hanging off of it. And the bottom is for them to dig their claws in and it has catnip in it. Yeah, he's going to town. That's what all the racket is. Oh, and then it has a ball in the groove in the bottom and you can't get the ball out. But they try like hell to get it out. Oh, look, another one of those resin magnets. He's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these. They're little sponge reindeer. These were made in China. These are cool for doing um with paint. Look, there's an angel. A sleigh with Santa and a bell. Oh, those are cool. My nephew likes to draw and paint and stuff. I wonder if he would want to try those. Oh, look at a dove. I have a couple of these already, so this will just add to my collection. This is an oldie but goodie. Look at that ice cream scoop. Oh my gosh. I could see that from the 1950s. That's going right in my little thing in the kitchen, my utensil thing. Oh my God. That's awesome. This was the same color as the vaporizer that my grandmother used to have. Because I remember her, she would put it in the room when I was sick. Mm -hmm. Same color. It's funny, the memories that come back sometimes. Oh, wow. Look at this ornament. Oh, how cool is that? Folco. Live from Kansas. <laughs> Oh, there's a little pill box. I'll put that in my purse. Nice, oh, ceramic candle holder. Oh my gosh, it has the candle in it and everything. Oh, look how cute this is. Wait a minute, let me fix the candle. Look at this little guy. How cute. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Wow. Some Japan ornaments. Look at this. This is 
how cool is that? There's the label. You can see it. <laughs> oh, look how cute. This is the kind of fabric I was looking for to, to use for a hanger on my uh, my snow uh, snowman plaque thing I made in my DIY the other day. Here's another uh, ice cream cone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some vintage wrapping paper. Uh, oh, what's this, a candle? Yes. I definitely am not going to burn the candle because it stinks because it's old, but um, it's from Jazzco. That's how old it is, okay? Hong Kong. <laughs> but I love the tin. Let me show you guys the tin, if I could get the lid back on. Isn't that pretty? Look at that side. Gorgeous. I love that. I remember Christmas bows like this. I absolutely do. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, look. Oh my God, this is going in my bathroom. A dollar five. Oh my God, that's fabulous. Bottle brush tree. <laughs> we have some uh, fall things in here. We have a few uh, gourds. <laughs> David puts a little bit of everything. All seasons. <laughs> this. Oh, look how, oh my gosh. This looks like restaurant wear. Look at that. But it's flat. At first I thought it was a wall pocket, but there's no hole to hang it on the wall. That is so cool. I have never seen anything like that before. That is awesome. <laughs> you find some really unique things, David, I gotta tell you. Oh, look at little strawberry um, coasters. And they have sayings from the Bible. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. Galatians 5.22. Beautiful. Oh, look at it. It's a towel, you guys. Oh, look at this towel. Oh, my God. Look at it. How cute is he? Oh, I love it. Oh, love it. And it's a tea towel. Oh, that's awesome. We made these uh, one year at work. Um, I, uh, one of the uh, Happy Birds Nesting Haven um, she makes some amazing crafts and, um, she did these on her YouTube channel one day. And so I bought all the supplies and we made them at work one day and the residents loved them. If, uh, I'm gonna, I'll link her channel in the description box cause she, 
Um, I learned to make a lot of earrings and stuff like that from her. She's such a talented lady. She really is. I think her name's Lori, but I'm not positive. Oh, we have some more vintage cards. Oh my God, I'm going to have a conniption fit. There's vintage Halloween die cuts in the bottom of the box. Oh, look, these are fairy cards, you guys. Fairy and angel. Look how pretty. Oh, these are gorgeous. I can't go through all of them, guys, because there's some flower ones. Pretty. 51 minutes. Oh, my God. I'm almost done. Okay. We have a vintage um, bow. And it's like, it's like a real thin plastic. And then some bells. This one has got cracked, but I'm sure I could glue it if I could get them apart. But anyways, oh my gosh. A deck of cards for the residents. Look, he's got little notes on stuff. Pocket trivia. Oh my God, this will be perfect. <laughs> awesome pure awesomeness 1984 what is this oh another I think this is Avon oh no well McGregor it's McGregor. I don't remember if Avon made that or not. Cologne bottle. That is very cool. You can still smell it. Awesome. That's very cool. What is this? Soap? Yep. Avon, Suds of the Season. Betty Bell. Let's check out Betty Bell. <laughs> that's hilarious oh my gosh that's funny I don't see a date I'm going to have to look it up one ounce Oh, wow. These are some old candles because these are fat ones. They don't make them like this anymore. They're real thin. Look at the size of these candles, you guys. Those are pretty fat. The ones now are like half the size. Whoa, don't fall out. All right. Susan Hayward. <laughs> Look at that frame. <laughs> she was just the person, the picture that they put in the frame. That is too funny. Oh, this is a cool coaster. It's metal or tin. That's cool. One more uh, ornament here. Mother of Pearl. That's very cool. <sighs> Be still my heart. OMG. My God. I 
I believe these are the reproductions, but this one is the real deal. But I don't care if it's a reproduction. By still company. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at, look at. Wait a minute. One side is shiny and the other side, side is matte. I love them. Fantastic. OMG. David, you outdid yourself again. Oh my God. I love everything. Honest to God. But I have to say that this right here is my favorite. And this. And those kitties, the vintage kitty Christmas cards. Oh my God. Guys, I got to end this video. It's already 57 and a half minutes. Thank you everyone for joining me today. David, thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. Um, I... You have to let me know what you like, because if I ever come across things that you like, you know I'm sending them. So you have to let me know. I just feel like I, I need to give back something. I really do. I, I'm just so honored and really, thank you. So guys, that's gonna do it for this haul video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.